you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's not so much Ultimate Team. We got some Madden 21 news, guys. We get the Madden 21 soundtrack confirmed by EA. They got the blog up. Sorry, guys. I just drank a big surprise TV before I started this video. I'm literally dying. I think I, I choked on it a little bit. But Madden NFL 21 soundtrack features Anderson. Pack, Rick Ross, and more. They didn't even mention Jack Harlow in title, and he's in there. But see the full track list for the Madden NFL 21 soundtrack and learn more about the inspiration behind the music in the game. Guys, every year 2K has a fire soundtrack, or at least better than Madden. Can they top themselves this year? Can they come out, use some of that money that we spend on Ultimate Team, and get us a good soundtrack to listen to? Considering when you sit in the Ultimate Team menus, you more or less, like if you're a sniper, like I think Madden Ultimate Team might be the most, the game where you listen to the soundtrack the most, whether it be franchise screens or Ultimate Team. Some people sit in the menus when they even play the game so like hopefully it's pretty fire we're gonna find out now guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on you boys come join the family give this video a big thumbs up guys guys we are four days to six days out somewhere between there whenever they drop it six days out from madden 21 level stuff more or less four days away from content just because that's when the, the database and the ultimate team blog will drop so i'm super hyped for that but this is what we're working with for now guys get into the soundtrack make sure to hit that sub button guys come join also, I'm looking to doing memberships for the channel, so if you're interested in that, let me know down below. I will be doing three tiers and uh, with some pretty cool perks, such as maybe like playing with me on some Madden, um, just following back on socials, giving you cool sub-only level stuff like in the comment section when you say Noti Gang or Poodle Gang or you know Day One, whatever you say, you'll have your own personalized color and like you just stand out so everyone knows you're loyal Day One. So that's pretty cool. Now. Let's get into this now more than ever fall means football football means madden nfl and on august 28th madden nfl madden nfl 21 delivers an all-new soundtrack that will elevate the season the spirit of the game and the future of hip-hop culture like never before so before i go read through and spoil it off here i want to read this in a time when a stop mvp athletes are taking over the field like this year's three cover star lamar jackson madden nfl 21 celebrates their artists rising up to chase the throne continuing a commitment to bring exclusive music that is custom to the sport it's lifestyle and celebration. This year's soundtrack features 18 bangers that we created or curated, especially for the game. I'll be the judge of that. Showcasing the next level superstars by transcending genre, geography, and generations. The experience kicks off with Cut Em In, the event collab, and forthcoming video by Anderson, Pack featuring Rick Ross that triggers a new era in exclusive Madden Full Anthems. The epic team ups continue on EDM Superstar meets Rising Rapper with Act Up, the genre bending banger from Party Favor and Jama Jamed. That will also rock video screens in September. Madden NFL soundtrack history is further made by a record number of tracks by female MCs, led by Runaway Challenge Queen Stunna Girl and her new single Rotation Game Mix. Ooh, that was that was a mouthful. Madden NFL 21 also features sonic innovation and hard-hitting message from Terrell Hines with On Fire that earns the game's press start honor. The hot new track Little Bit from singer-songwriter producer Black Bear, Black Bear's cool, that announces Madden 21's newest mode, The Yard, and a new hip-hoppin. A new hip-hop with Automatic by Jack Harlow that's already seen 150k plays via the official Madden 21 trailer. There's an epic 43 minutes of original score for the hotly anticipated franchise mode by award-winning Green Book, When They See Us, and Dear White People, composer Chris Bowers. While Yard Mode features additional music by Party Favor and multi-platinum writer-producer Matt Rad. There we go. Check out the official uh, playlist on Spotify, guys. This will be on EA's Twitter. Go check it out. Click the link so you can get it. Probably still it up, too. Experience full impact of the Madden NFL 21 when the game and soundtrack drop on Madden 28th. So this is going to, this is what the thing looks like now. I could play for you guys, but that will probably get me copyright strikes. So I'm going to have to ditch that. Let's go back up here. So this is the full photo. So first we got Anderson Pack featuring Rick Ross. Cut him in. Uh, I'll do it this way. Kickoff by Big Crit. Flag on the play. Black Zach. Little Bit. Black Bear. Kick it. Childish Major and Joss or Jace. Powered up by Earth Gang. Top by HD Bindo. Uh, automatic by Jack Harlow. Now, guys, let's be honest here. EA hit up Jack Harlow for rights to what's popping. They gave him a price tag that was way too high, and they said, what is the cheapest possible song I can get from you right now? Like, what's cheap and still good enough? And he said automatic. I'm telling you, they wanted what's, pop what's popping would have been so nice on the soundtrack, even the remix, although they probably couldn't have played too much of the remix uh, cleanly, but would have been a fire song. We got Juice Fruit, Champion, Get It and Go by uh, Loot featuring Black Soul, Work by Nez Feet, Featuring Duckworth and St. Body. Sorry, guys. I'm probably butchering all these names. One again by Nimic Revenue. Act Up by Party Favor and Jamed. Backstage Pass by Samino with Monte Booker and the Drums. Rotation by Stunner Girl. On Fire by Terrell Hines. 
Irresponsible by Tokyo's Revenge, and Lemonade by Youngblood and Denzel Curry. They really like having Denzel Curry on here. So, that pretty much wraps up most of the whole stuff. So, stay in the conversation by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and EA Forum. Sign up for the newsletter today to receive updates on Madden NFL 21 and EA News. Now, here, I'm going to show you guys right here so you guys can kind of see. This is the full list and a little bit bigger for you guys if the other one was too small. So, that's pretty much just There's 18 total songs on the soundtrack. Now, guys, what I typically do with the EA soundtracks, I usually cut out the really crappy songs, and I usually end up with, like, three or four songs I actually like. Only thing that sucks is that I'll be in the ultimate team menus, uh, just re literally on repeat. Now, I usually turn all, I usually don't play Madden with sound. I don't know if you guys know that. I do not play, I usually, I don't play video games with sound in general, besides uh, if I gotta play COD or something. I don't play with headphones on. I typically play 2K and I play Madden with no headphones on, silence, just focusing in. It wasn't like on purpose. I just didn't have a headset for some time. I got a computer studio headset and it wasn't compatible with the Xbox, so I just didn't use it for a while. And by the time I figured out how to like set everything up, I didn't, just don't really care for it. And also the headphones mess up my hair a lot, so I usually don't touch them. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the whole soundtrack aspect of it. I mean, I'm super excited. Again, do I know most of these songs? Not exactly. I'm not, like, big into any of these. I mean, I'll probably like Jack Harlow's song, uh, Black Bear song. Now, again, I might I might, I might, might be uh, dumb for not knowing a few of these guys, but I will go listen to the soundtrack when I get in my car in a little bit. Let it play in the background, see what I think about it. It's still cool. Regardless, I hear some. I see some names on here that, although I may not be a massive fan of, I know they're big names. So it will be cool to hear the soundtrack. Hopefully it's good. Is it better than 2Ks? Based on what I saw, I may be a music simp, but based on what I saw, I think that the soundtrack on 2K may be better. Um, 2K usually gets, it's one up. But I guess, I mean, I feel like, I don't want to trash, but I feel like they could have done better with the soundtrack. I feel as though with the money they make, they definitely get some better songs, better, uh, I know you got to pay for it. I, I get that. I 100%, I work in a business here where I understand that everything you do, you got to pay for, especially for rights and uh, just royalties and stuff. But I know they got it. So hopefully, hopefully it's still good regardless. I know there's always a few songs that play. And again, I understand that Madden does like to do songs that are football related, like Flag on the Play. It'll be a song that like like it references, even though it's a rap song, it'll reference football or Madden or like Snoop Dogg songs. They, like, they don't always just do like the best songs. I get that, but still, we more or less know what's up. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And guys, I'm telling you, four more days. Hop on the train now. I'm super excited, guys. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.